Yo, what up, it's Don. Samuel Lee here. We are the Hype Brothers, back with another Hype Boy video for you guys. Did you, guys, uh, did you see Nick Young playing? Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Hell yeah. So, I mean, I guess we can say it does basketball, huh? Yeah. Um, but anyways, this is just a casual review, saying if it's comfortable or not, how it fits and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. What right. is the name of this shoe? The Easy 500 Desert Rat, I believe. Easy 500 Desert Rat. So why, why, blush? This is the blush colorway. Right. Um, so I like the colorway. I think it's the Desert Rat. That's about it. I, um, I like the colorway, yeah. Yeah. So let's get started right off with the traction. Durable. I mean, I feel like it's way more durable than uh, uh, Yeezy, past Yeezy. I don't yeah. know why you would make a freaking outsole out of that kind of like rubber, like soft rubber. Yeah. Material. It, just, it makes no sense for durability. Um, and you see so many pictures of like how worn out, you know, some of the outsoles are. But this one, it feels like it'll be very durable. Super grippy too. And of course, I did play ball in it. So you guys will, it's a little sneak peek on that. Ooh. But uh, yeah, super grippy too. So, I mean, also shouldn't be a problem at all in this shoe, like dur durability-wise, too. So, yeah. there's that. Uh, moving on to the cushion. Your favorite. Addy Cream uh, Plus, baby. Ooh. Oh, my God. So, I mean, it's just like it's like a softer kind of file line is what I would say. Yeah. It's still ass. Um, and one of the worst cushions uh, in a Yeezy. Uh, but in the Yeezy 350 V2, it's super duper comfortable. You can feel the boost. I love the feeling, but this, I mean, the even the Orsolite insole is very thick. I mean, very thin, sorry. Yeah. And you can't really feel jack shit. But if you take it out, there are some, like, little, I don't know what this is. I mean, there, I don't know what the color parts are. Man, you can get that shit at CVS. <laughs> but it, you can feel it. It doesn't feel like anything. There's it's, nothing. It's still stiff. And then if you see here, uh, the strobe board is super stiff. And the Addy Preen, there's really no like compression, compression or anything like that. Not soft at all. So uh, for a casual shoe, it's I mean the cushion's not that good. If you guys yeah. were expecting anything from Addy Preen Plus, and you guys are tripping because Addy Preen Plus, I do not liking. Yeah, there's no boost but, to be seen in this shoe yes. at all. I mean, I I feel like in one of the shoes there was like a drop in boost or something. In one of the or something. Am I tripping? Mm. I don't know. Um, what was that in the 700 Wave Runner? I don't remember. Um, but yeah, the, but in this... Yeah, the 700 has boost. It does? Yeah, it, but... It has like the kind of But boost. it doesn't look... There's like, no boost showing. So it's like a cage. They should have done yeah. that in this. Yeah. Why did they do that in this? You know? Um, but they chose to... I mean, I guess Kanye's sick of boost. Why would you ever get sick of boost? Yeah. I don't know, but... Yeah, not the most comfortable cushion in this shoe. What about this beautiful upper? So upper, you have... It's, a, it's crazy how crazy the suede is. Like, it's so crazy that, that some of the little specks were falling off. Damn. You know yeah, what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's real buttery. Yeah, real buttery. And you have some... Uh, I don't know if this is... What is this? Is this real? It's, it's yeah, a, I feel like this is real leather. Yeah. That better be real leather. And you have some mesh kind of panels. Um, overall, yeah, I really like the materials. They feel super soft mm -hmm. and very comfortable on foot. The, the tongue is also very plush. It, it is uh, like a tech fit booty where the tongue is attached to like a uh, material that goes underneath mm -hmm. uh, the materials. And yeah, overall, the materials aren't bad. Uh, they, obviously, they're trying to use more old school materials. Mm -hmm. um, I would have preferred a prime knit like in the V2s, but it's yeah. still not bad in the shoe. All right, uh, what else are we talking about here? Fit. Fit. Fit, so I went true to my Adidas size, and I don't know what it is, because so when I put my foot all the way to the back, like where my heel touches right here, mm -hmm. uh, it fits really good. But then I feel like because uh, the offset is maybe really high, mm -hmm. so I feel like because of that, my foot does slide to the front. Right. And it goes right to the edge and super duper tight. So I feel like if you went up half a size from your Adidas size, then it should it should be you shouldn't have that problem as bad. Um, so I don't know. Depending on what you like, if you like that right to the edge feeling, then you should probably go true to size. But I didn't mm -hmm. like it in this because it was just like right at the edge. Yeah. Me, you know. So and it's not a knit. So uh, if it was a knit, it would have been a little bit better. But it's not. So um, 
Uh, there's that lengthwise and widthwise. I would say it's like uh, normal width. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even a little wide. I mean, the V2s are super narrow. It looks wide. Yeah, so this is, I would this say. It's like that wide Air Monarch. <laughs> exactly, shit. yeah. Real dad shoe shit. Yep. So um, if you're a wide footer, you should be okay true to size. Maybe go up half a size. Probably, I, I would recommend up half a size. So uh, there's that. Uh, now moving on to weight. Let's, let's see how much these weigh. How much do you think they weigh? Hmm. 11 ounces? No. I'd really? say like 14. 12. 14? Nah. No, no, no. 12? Uh, 13. 13? I say 12. 13.26. Yeah. Ooh, all right. Um, so it feels a little bulky and heavy. It doesn't feel heavy though. It feels a little bulky on foot, but that's what you're getting with a bulky ass dad shoe. With yeah. All this shit with uh, old school materials, you know? Um, so there's that. Um, moving on to ventilation. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't super hot. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't know. It was super cold. It's been really, really cold here lately. It's been going down like 35 degrees, 30 degrees. Yeah. So, um, I mean, my feet were warm though. So I feel like maybe if it was a hot, if, if it was hot weather, yeah. my feet would be warm. So uh, there's that. Uh, durability wise, it should be fine. Yeah. It's a dad old dad shoe old school materials. So um should be good. Let's talk about aesthetics though. Um that's These the are meat here. Higher, man. These, These are, are just higher. bangers. Nah. Um you got the Air Monarch and then this, maybe. No, but, this is nowhere near the Air Monarch. <laughs> These are despicable. <clears throat> There's a lot of people looking at my shit though. Yeah. Like, I saw some like, you know. And yeah, they were like, like they were like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> they, it's because they knew what they were. It's because they're like, oh, it's nah, easy. I don't it's know fine. about that, dog. They oh, might really? have just been like, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> no. Um, um, but yeah, the hype boys know what these are. You know, they're trying to do. They're they're literally trying to sit down and go, what is the ugliest shoe? I mean, that's what they're trying to do. Whoever can make the ugliest shoe, like On the foot, Balenciagas. It doesn't, it doesn't look that bad though. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not even like, you know, if you want to rock an ugly dad shoe, this is it, yeah. you know? And that's kind of, you know, but the are, vibe. And some, are any dads wearing this, though? Dad, a dad would never wear this. <laughs> it's strictly Air Monarchs yes. or New Balance. That's it. It's your only options. But, yes. you know, my thing with these dad shoes is like, it's a just fad. wear an Air Monarch. It's a fad. But just wear an Air Monarch. That's the goat dad shoe. That's what everyone's trying to copy, you know, or some. But it's not limited. Balances. It has no hype. I know it has to have hype. It has to have hype, and that's, that's the, the whole hype boy Yeezy um, shit, you know? shit going on. But um, so overall, it, it, it's it's pretty comfortable. Um, definitely nowhere near like Ultra Boost or like the V 2s or anything like that. But mm -hmm. it's okay. It's, it's still pretty comfortable, you know. Like, um, but the cushion just sucks. Yeah, like that, you know. At but, least like with the Yeezys, like some of the Yeezys I think are horrific. Some of them I think are, are chill, but at least there's boost in all of them. It feels and they're comfortable, you know? Comfortable, yes. Like the 350s are super comfortable, Yes. obviously. So that's it, just a look at the Yeezy 500s, you know? Love them or hate them. Tell us what you guys think. Yeah. What's the price on these though? I feel like it's Retail. Like 220. 220. I bought so many shoes, I don't know. Wonder what these are reselling for. It was like six, seven hundred or something really? like that. Yeah. Um, anyways, that's it. Uh just a quick video for you guys. Catch you in the next one later. Peace.